in a new spot uh, today and I wanted to show you this really cool thing that we found when we came over here. And it looks like somebody made a really cool little fort over here with shells. This is a little behind the scenes for you guys. We are filming a TikTok video and Cousin Bobby's back. <laughs> There's literally people in that cabin watching everything that we're doing right now, which is just too funny. So I am getting ready to film some of my Patreon videos and I'm gonna do a crazy story time today while I do a get ready with me. So that is what I'm all set up for now and my office views are not bad. getting my camera bag together. I never really show this, but this is the bag that I kind of, it's huge, right? But I have like so much camera equipment. It's, I have this tripod, GoPro, this tripod, my reflector, three lenses in here and two cameras. I also use my phone. And that's just like some of the camera equipment that I, um, snow. I've been trying to shoot more intentionally and mindfully. I've also just gotten a lot more passionate about filming and photography and videography. I've always had a passion for it, but I've never really applied myself. I have so much filming equipment just from over the years of doing like YouTube that I really wanted to just make a lot more beautiful vlog videos still with like the rawness and me talking to you like this, but also include a lot of other like shots and you know, things that are like more artistic looking just because I really love doing that and capturing it and I also um, hope that you guys will enjoy it also. I'm kind of learning how to use a lot of the like camera equipment and stuff that I have and we're going to a lot of beautiful places today so I'm going to just like play around with it. I'm excited. So we're going to go to a place called Thor's Well in Oregon. We're also going to try to go to this like lighthouse forget what it's called what was the other place maybe the sea lion caves we don't know we're, we're gonna see like what we find and explore and we're just gonna go to some cool places and we thought we would bring you along on our little adventure in Oregon today so here we go get me some, a big hug, Mom. yes you're such a good sister we're ready for our adventure are you ready baby storm Now. You're driving. I'm driving with Daddy. So just so everyone knows, we're we're not on public roads. We're driving on private property right now. Daddy. Yes. The best driver. Darling, do you want to know what I think? I don't need a million dollars. I just want a wife, some kids, and a few less problems. Get them all into college. Maybe we could travel the world to see stars and comets. Think I want to meet your mama. I don't have a nine to five, but I'm going to find some commas. I don't need a million dollars. I just want a wife, some kids, and a few less problems. I'm just trying to wake up for some peace in the morning. Getting packages is really kind of difficult with us traveling constantly, but I'm very excited about this one. So we got a package full of Once Upon a Farm pouches and my kids love these. And thank you to Once Upon a Farm for sending these. We just got to uh, Thor's Well and everybody's hungry, so we stopped and we're parked and eating. Uh, this is how I feed storm strawberries. <laughs> You got your blueberries? Yeah. Okay. Hi, buddy. You wanna blow a kiss? Mm. <laughs> oh, are you blowing kisses too? Mm. Wow, how sweet. What a sweetheart. Mm. Okay, time for mom to eat. This is how Trav is warming up his food in the sun. My little snack. I already ate my burrito, but. I'm gonna eat my avocado. 
my new favorite snack right now is avocado with Himalayan sea salt, like sprinkled on top. Wait, what do you want? Good job, baby. Ooh, are you taking big deep breaths? Must feel good, huh? No, you want a prune? Can we go in the ocean, Mom? Well, it's very cold out there. Some avocado and sea salt. Mm. Mm, so good. Chew with your mouth closed, remember? Mmm. Mmm. I want you this one. You mean you're trying to sit on top of me? No. Added some avocado in his lunch. Looking mighty tasty. It's really tasty for you, Daddy. You want a bite? No, no, no. You got everything. You gave him a bottle that was really sweet and a toy. What a good sister you are. So sweet. Make a mascara on. Yes, you do have mascara on. Mm. You want to go see Thor as well? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Drink some water, honey. It's good for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> So if you've never heard of Thor's Well before, it's one of the more popular attractions along the Oregon coast and it's a natural wonder. It looks like an endless sinkhole and the theory is that the well was originally a cave that had its roof collapsed because of water erosion and this collapse left a circular hole at the top and bottom of the cave. And Thor's Well got its name after the Norse god of thunder, Thor. The legend says that Thor created the sinkhole after striking the earth creating a six meter hole. So you can pull over off the coast to see Thor's as well and you can see it from the parking lot but there's a short path if you want to go down I would just say be very careful a huge thing about going to Thor as well is you really want to go at high tide that's when you're going to be able to see it the best unfortunately for us we weren't able to go during high tide uh, just because when high tide was coming around um, it would have been the kids bedtime and we would have had to stay up really late so um, also I would recommend if you can time it properly with your trip to go during sunset um, with a high tide because then you'll be able to get just really beautiful photos but it's a really cool thing and i would definitely recommend it if you get the opportunity to go it is freezing cold out here uh so we are gonna head back to the car and then we're gonna go check out i think the sea lion caves and also a really cool lighthouse you want to go see some sea lions um some sea lions <laughs> okay so cool on the way down to thor's well there's like this really cool path and it's like all foresty Doing some diaper changes. Oh my gosh, we just had like the scariest thing happen to us with Storm. We were driving and he didn't have anything, like we didn't give him any food or anything like that, but all of a sudden he started like sounding like he was choking. Not like gagging, you know how like kids gag and stuff, like actual choking. And Travis like stopped the car, jumped out and like got him out of the car seat so this is just kind of like a PSA the reason why I wanted to tell you guys that he's totally fine by the way he's right here doing great um, but he had a book and this is something that you know parents like me don't think of he had a book and you don't think like oh they're gonna choke on a book but um, he was eating the side of it back there PSA to parents if you guys are driving your kids are in the car seat keep an eye out for things like that because it could be scary and dangerous go driver are you gonna put it in drive Trying to put it in drive. How do you know as a baby to do that? Go driver. Go driver. You got a fan club. <laughs> you are so cute, Storm Dean. <laughs> Is 3.36, June 23rd, 2022. We just got to the... The Tekka Lighthouse. I'm gonna take the kids down to the beach, let them play, test out my new camera. It's not new, but I've had it for a while. Test out my camera, try to figure out how to be a better photographer. And yeah, I've been watching tons of videos on YouTube and TikTok on how to use my camera and like learn how to use it. I know like the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed, but I'm very, like I'm a very, very slow learner. It's probably gonna take me months to figure out how to use this camera. The 50 millimeter lens, and I have the 16 
35 millimeter lens. I really want the 70 to 200 millimeter, but it's so expensive. So I want to learn how to use these first. And then if I get good at these and master these, then for my birthday, I told myself I would buy myself the camera. So I'm saving up for it right now and trying to learn how to use the ones I have first. Also, if any of you guys know anything about cameras, um, my G7X camera has been making some weird noise like in the audio on this one and my older one i don't know if they're able to repair cameras like this one but do you guys hear the audio and if so do you know what it is and how i can fix it it's this camera by the way So coming up, you're going to see in a distance this white house behind Storm. That house is rumored to be one of the most haunted places on the West Coast. Ever since the 1800s, it housed the men who kept the lighthouse running and their families. Rumor says that the house is haunted by a woman named Rue. She was one of the wives of an old lightkeeper. She had a daughter who drowned while living there. She ended up leaving Hasita Lighthouse but after she died, it's rumored that she came back. She's still to this day looking for her daughter. For the past 21 years, it has operated as a bed and breakfast with room for 15 guests, 16 if you count the resident ghost, Rue. There's even an unmarked grave up on the hillside. And even guests who stay there now claim to see apparitions of Rue. Made a big mistake and left my thing undone and snow decided to have fun and throw sand into my camera. That white house right there. This man was super nice. This like older gentleman came up and asked if he could take some photos of us because we were, you know, we had our cameras out and we were like, yeah, of course. And he was like, you know, that house back there is haunted. And I was like, oh really? He's like, yeah, Mom, there was can a- Can you give me some popcorn? Sure, honey. Interesting stuff. I know. So we're going on the lookout? Yep. It is so windy. We're at the sea lion caves. Yes, honey. Some sea lions. Yeah, but this is like in like a natural habitat. Look. Yeah. Right here. See all the sea lions? Yeah. Saw the sea lions. Now we're going to go down the elevator and go see them in the caves. You want to go to the sea lion caves? Yeah. Did you see like the sea lions? Around. They're barking at each other. What do you think, Storm? Storm's like, uh, I'm ready for my nap, guys. You ready for your nap, Stormy? What do you think? They're cutie pies. They're cutie pies, huh? They're like, if you die down in the sea caves because of an earthquake, we're not responsible. All right, let's do this. Go down in the sea lion caves, spooky. We started at 180, I think it was. We're going really deep down in this elevator. It's literally the longest elevator ride I've ever been in. Yeah, it's literally like a hole cut into the side of the mountain, which is the elevator that we're on right now. Yeah, no jumping, baby. No, no jumping. jumping. Almost there. Bottom. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. You see him? Yeah. The sea lion caves are a privately owned wildlife preserve and bird sanctuary. It's actually been in operation since 1932. It was first founded in the 1800s by a seaman, but its history goes way further back than that. The cavern began formation about 25 million years ago, and it now soars to the height of a 12-story building and stretches the length of a football field. It's the natural home to a colony of sea lions and a diverse array of other marine life. Special care is taken to not disturb the natural habitat of the wild animals that dwell there. 
the best time to go is during the fall or the winter when the sea lions gather in this natural amphitheater. And if you go during the spring or summer, they breed and have their young on rock ledges just outside the cave where you can see them. We did the sea lion caves, that was really cool. Um, but I'm feeling kind of tired, so I'm about to have one of my Verb energy bars. This is the double chocolate one, uh, which I like this one and the s'mores. I think those are my two favorites right now. Did you have fun in the sea lion caves? Yeah. What did you think of the sea lions? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> what about you, Baby Storm? Were they pretty cool? Mm. <laughs> He's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> What did you think? Oh, it was so cool. I liked the hearing them and just seeing them all down there. Yeah. That was really cool. I like the cave part. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. Never yeah, done that before. The whole thing was so neat. Yeah, it was a perfect day. We had a really good day today. We did a lot. Yeah, we really did. All right, heading back to the snowmobile. Let's do this. If you like videos like this one and you want to see more exclusive footage just like this that you can't see anywhere else, be sure to check out our Patreon membership. The link will be down in the description below. We post twice a week over there, exclusive videos you can't see anywhere else. We're doing Patreon only meet and greets, live streams, and we even FaceTime a Patreon member each month. So be sure to check that out if it's something you're interested in. I went to the thrift store and I found some awesome scores. So I wanted to show you what I got. So I found this Columbia vest. I loved the color. It looks like in great condition and I got it for $9.99. I even had like a secret pocket somewhere. Oh yeah, look, a little secret pocket in here. It's their Omni Heat Columbia vest. And then I found this little onesie for Storm for $1.99. I also found these Merrill boots that are like waterproof and perfect for like a lot of the stuff that we do. And they're really comfortable. I got those for $9.99. I found some Vans for Snow for $9.99. We got these Tiva sandals, which are in great condition for $3.99. Then I found this awesome coat. Let's see, oh yeah, Wallflower. I've never heard of that brand. And I got that for $6.99. Like it totally goes with like my vibe right now. And I think that these shoes will look really awesome with that. And then I found this beautiful white dress. This is from a brand called Velvet. And I got this for $9.99, so. So I wanted to share with you guys why we decided to move into our RV full time. I know I had gotten some comments saying, Shannon, you just bought your dream home and remodeled it exactly how you wanted it. Why in the world would you move out into your RV of all places full time? Actually a few reasons why we decided to do that. I was recently diagnosed with two different autoimmune diseases, one of them being Hashimoto's and the other one being Addison's disease. My doctor said it was really important for me to be uh, as stress-free as possible. I also really wanted to spend more time with my family. Even though I'm a YouTuber, influencer, whatever you wanna call me, um, and I'm home full-time with my family working, I was spending majority of my time working and not really being able to spend genuine quality time with my family, and that is really important to me. Where we were living in Los Angeles, just our like mortgage payment alone was was close to five thousand dollars it was really expensive living in the rv is a lot cheaper than where we were living back home and even though i could afford to live in our house comfortably uh, i was just working non-stop and i wanted to be able to work less spend more time with my family and we also really wanted to travel we also weren't very happy living in our dream home a lot of people have noticed since we've moved into the rv like my husband and i have fallen in love with each other all over again and all of us are just so much happier we feel like we are where we belong we're getting the kids to sleep trav is getting the storm to bed this is the onesie we got for $1.99 at Goodwill. Such a score. And he's going to go to bed in there. And then we have Snow Rose already asleep in here. I take pictures of all my receipts and I get points in the Fetch app. Um, if you want to get points, if you don't already have this, um, you basically take pictures of your receipts. It gives you points and then you can get gift cards. And I like religiously do it. If you do it with my link, this is not sponsored by the way. I just use it all the time and love it. And I get like tons of Amazon gift cards this way. It's just so simple. You literally just, and you could do it on um, like on Amazon too. Like you just connect your Amazon account. Basically I was saying, I'll just put the link um, in 
my description. So if you guys don't have it and you want to sign up, it's like a free app. Um, you'll get points with my link. And then if you guys get people to sign up, you guys get points that way, like for referring somebody. So at the end of the day, um, I take all my receipts and I have this one for a month at a time and I like categorize it by like gas. I'll show you here in a second. And then for the year, this is my big one that I have. And each month then I'll put them uh, like and categorize all the receipts. So the big one looks like this on the inside. I haven't labeled it yet. Um, but I also keep like other important documents in here, like my most recent, um, like medical labs that have been abnormal and stuff so that I can keep track of that. book um so i'm very excited to try to make it in the instant pot which i've never done before but we're gonna try it not today but in the future like in a future video we will picked me up where we left off was it seventh street i forgot but it doesn't matter when i'm riding shark Way I feel with you, I feel with no one. Two more tattoos than last year. Still play drums on the steering wheel. To that song by Green. Just finished dinner and we are going over our little map to find out where we're going next. So we started down here. Now we're here. And then we're gonna go up the coast of Oregon. We're gonna go into Washington. We're gonna go through Idaho into Montana. Then we gotta figure out where to go from there. Snow just woke up, so we're gonna work on getting her back to bed. I'm right here, honey. But I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Color into yourself. Now lights like a movie camera pose. One time for the girl, Shannon Rose.